here's my uh, quick wood. We're going to see how long it takes me to uh, figure this out with the camera rolling. Um, I need to cut off a chunk to fill that hole in the wall that my youngest shop assistant made and whoops, there goes my goop. Made and tearing up drapery right off the ceiling or the wall. That would be the assistant dog's hair. Alright, so this stuff you get the activator, the hardener in there. So you mush it. I'm wearing gloves because this stuff gave me spots when I was a teenager. When I mixed it by hand. So that's, that's what the tube looks like. So I keep this cap. Help keep it from drying out, I guess. Put it back in its tube, cap it, and then just keep mixing. So, gonna be doing this for a while. Go get yourself a drink or something. It's warm, maybe some tea, lemonade. Alright, so here goes nothing. Um, yeah. Gonna try shoving that far enough into the hole that I can kind of get it past. Past the crumbly drywally bits. And it will act as a washer when it gets squeezed outward when I add the hollow wall anchor. This one's, I don't think it's too bad. There's no puckering up here. That one just slipped right out. So, I don't know. I might put a, I should probably put a tornado fastener in that. And that one. But there you go. I'm gonna drill that out and just uh, maybe reuse the that same anchor. This is what the other side looked like. It's just a bracket. And that managed to uh, just tighten up. So I have to figure out if I need to take that all the way back off and attach it and screw it on into place. Well, way over here, that is my, uh, looks like my uh, chewing gum repair. So we'll see what happens. Okay, so put some tight bond into these, this spot and this spot. And you can see it, it darkened up in the paper part where it's really thirsty. So hopefully that'll help hold the wall together. So I'm just going to have to... Uh, and I'll put these anchors back in and, and see how it tightens up. Um, this one doesn't look like it tore too much out, but I might put a tornado anchor there. And then I'm going to drill this out and uh, make space for an anchor. And hopefully when it spreads out in every direction, it'll still, uh, you know, with this one not moving, it'll help go side to side and won't try to twist itself out. So as you can see, the this stuff is hardened up and only takes about 20 minutes to set. Um, I was able to get, um, I couldn't use the old insert. Uh, it was just kind of stripped out up here, it's too loose. And so I got a uh, one from the basement and fit that in. It's a snug fit, so that should be okay. And then this guy I marked and drilled and that's the old slip-in fastener, but it's it's a fresh hole and it's a little bit tighter. Uh, it's kind of an undersized bit to make sure it would be in there snug. So I am going to uh, screw on the bracket here and uh, hopefully that will be relatively uh, vertical. So here I am just getting in position with the, uh, with the drill. And then this is uh, going into the new, the new sleeve. Well, it seems to be tight, so fingers crossed. Uh, so there it is installed. Um, this is the uh, where the rod screws on, and so it uh, tightens up between the ends. And uh, hopefully, it's a uh, 
it's going to be straight enough to where it uh, it's a good fit. So um, it doesn't seem to have any wiggle. So it looks like the quick wood did it. So this is me just tightening it up on this end. It just uh, threads on. And uh, let's pull our uh, light blocking curtain over here. And that's it. Should be good to go.